Today I'm going to show the Texterity Magazine's portal for the iPhone. And I'm going to choose to read Popular Science Magazine, which is one of the over 20 magazines that's available for free on the portal. At this point I can show the thumbnails of the magazine, which is a great feature in terms of being able to see all the pages. I can double tap to move in. I can scroll around to find a page I'm interested in and then click on that page to actually read the specific page that I'm interested in. The great thing about the iPhone is that because of its capability to zoom in, you can take advantage of uh, the photography capability to actually widen the page and then read that page. It's very comfortable. I'm going to show some of the capabilities of the digital edition for the iPhone. One thing that I've already shown is the thumbnails, which will come in. The other thing you can do is you can go to the table of contents, which is very convenient. You can then look at all the articles in a magazine, and you can actually zoom in a little bit if you want to. And if you see an article that you're interested in, you can click right on that article. It'll open up the page directly to that article. And then at that point, you can start reading. And again, you can click right on the screen, you can zoom around, you can scroll, and essentially you can very easily read and the quality is very, very high in terms of the actual reading experience on the iPhone. The other thing I can do is I can use the search function, which is actually the ability to do a full text search right from the iPhone. So I could type in the word test, E-S-T, and I hit the search button. It'll go out and find the, all the pages of this magazine that have the word search, and I can change it, scroll around. You notice I get a thumbnail as well as a description of what I found. And when I find something that looks interesting, I can click right on the page or on the description, and it takes me right to that page. And at this point, of course, I can still stretch the picture, wait for the iPhone to render it, and then start reading the article. It's very convenient. The thing I can do is I can share an article, or actually in this case the entire magazine, and I can simply type in my name, which might take a while for this uh, video, but send a copy to my friend, send a copy to me, it's fully private, and what you'll receive is a message that will let any iPhone user actually go directly to this issue, which is very convenient. So if I have received a message from somebody who has an iPhone magazine, I can actually get an email from them. It tells me that my friend has sent me a copy of the magazine. I can click directly on the cover or on the link. It will open up a browser window and it will take me right to the magazine. So basically anything that I've read and enjoyed I can share with other people.